What's up, Money and Life Movement? JJ Ramos here with another episode. All right. Welcome back to YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome again to JJ's Random Thoughts. Now, let's do that SOP again before we start this episode. Yeah. Hit that thing to subscribe. Hit the bell and comment with done. Now, with that out of the way, let's start this episode. There's a um. Uh, well, it's already October. Okay, as of this recording, it's already October. It's, it'll be the, the final three months of 2019. And um, there's this app called TikTok. You can uh, capture your fooling aroundness <laughs> on, on that app, right? But I got a burning question for you regarding that. Will TikTok be relevant in 2020? Fortunately for you guys, I got a backstory on that. Now, I've uh, I installed TikTok around around two months ago. Yeah, two months ago. Just to try out if if it's viable for uh, social media marketing even network marketing right compared to YouTube uh, TikTok is a um, call this uh, TikTok is a fast way to put up videos because it only allows up to one minute right you either post a 15 second or a 60 second video okay if you know if you know what I mean if you're a TikTok user like me but most of the time the videos being um, the videos being posted there are basically pranks, uh, animal videos, uh, or basically just if you just want to basically you just want to fool around on camera, all right? There are there are also dance videos, so it makes it really cool. But two months ago, Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, predicted that TikTok would be the next Instagram. You haven't, if you haven't seen that, he's already he's already mentioned that in some of his videos, some of his most recent ones. If you if you're not familiar with Gary Vaynerchuk, he is a uh, well, he's a modern day thought leader. He's also an entrepreneur, and he is a well, probably one of the biggest social media influencers right now. Okay. So with that in mind, here's my burning question again. Will TikTok be relevant in 2020? Mm. My hands are a little messy right now. So after already snack, here at Coffee Bean and Dini South Woods Mall, I'm gonna use this. Spartan hands. Probably the best hand sanitizer I have ever used. Right. Zero messiness. All natural ingredients perfect just for me now if you want if you want yours head on over to the link below okay. click that to order and use my promo code money and life 10 you probably see it right now in the subtitles okay remember the code money and life 10 right? it's in the in the, uh, it's in the subtitles and also in the link in the description. Purpose of that code? Well, 10% off lang naman eh. <laughs> You get 10% off your order of this or any other any other product of Little Warrior, right? Little Warrior is the manufacturer. Okay. So remember, remember this one, okay? Spartan hands. Use code Money and Life 10 for 10% off. Napainintay nyo. 
Order now. The answer is yes. Okay? It's a big fat yes. Why? Now, Gary Vaynerchuk isn't the only uh, thought leader recommending TikTok right now. Who or seeing TikTok as the future of the future of uh, video marketing. Uh, other thought leaders include well, Eric Worre. He is slowly considering TikTok and uh, and a bunch of others. But the main uh, but the main futurist that announced the uh, the future of TikTok was Gary Vaynerchuk or Gary V for short. Now he's got a point. He, he has a point. If you would look, if you would compare TikTok and YouTube, if you're into long form, if you're into long form videos, you would go for YouTube. But if you want to, well, take a quick one, take a quick one just to let your thoughts out. You would choose TikTok. Because well, 15 to 60 seconds lang ang talagang length ng mga TikTok videos. So if you want to read a, a quick, a quick, a really quick video. You should go for TikTok. Now, as of late, I am, I'm slowly seeing um, network marketers employ TikTok. Okay, if you were, if you're familiar with the TikTok app, you would also see. If you scroll up, if you scroll up, you would uh, sometimes see videos about network marketing, motivation. So, it's slowly. Uh, what's called this? grabbing a hold of that market, right? Remember, TikTok is an app from China, okay? Its first users are the Chinese, but eventually, you see also, uh, you see also Russian, Eastern European users, and of course, the Filipinos. Of course, the Filipino users, right? So if I were, if I were you, I would consider TikTok for video marketing in 2020, right? And besides, well, you can compile your you can compile your TikTok videos into one uh, into one video, then upload it in YouTube. You can do that, all right? So again, if I were you, pagpatak ng 2020, mag TikTok din kayo. Okay? If you're into YouTube, you should also consider TikTok. Okay? So that's my stand. On the matter and I'm going to close this episode with a very important call to action okay so while we're doing so while I'm doing that uh, we're going down to the ground floor but I need to do a grocery <laughs> I need to do my groceries all right guys here's my call to action for this episode now you, you only have Feb until the last day of February and it, until February 14, 2020, to submit your proposed topics for episode 45. You heard it from me. You heard it from me, right? I will let you guys decide what to talk about on episode 45, right? Because I want to end, I want to end random talks free with a bang, all right? And there's no other way to do that than. To let the people decide, to let the viewers decide, to let the fans decide. All right. So, making a date, February 14, 2020. Deadline for submission of proposed topics for episode 45. All right. So, I'm here on the ground floor right now. I'm gonna make my grocery run. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay. I just want to enlighten movement.